In this video, I will discuss some key features of creating a user report in eTabs, including name displays, plot functions, and detailed design calculations of structural members, which can be automatically updated if you apply any changes to the model. There are a couple different ways to access the user reports. First way would be underneath the file menu, create report, you have the ability to show the summary report, add new user report, as well as some advanced options for XML content files. Another way is if you access it via the Model Explorer, you will see a few different tabs, including Model, Display, Tables, and under the reports, you'll be able to access Summary Report as well as a Project Report. You can use this command to generate a detailed report of the structural lateral loads as well as other associated results. This report will display in the report viewer upon completion. But if I right click on this report, you can access the add new user report. This form has tabs with options to specify model data to be included in the report. Display any tab and then select or deselect the various data types to be included or excluded from any report. Under the general tab, you can see many different items that are included. You can update the report name itself, include the table of contents, figures, and tables. Uh, this is an interesting feature. It allows the report to only include selected items only, which will limit the size of the report. Because as you can see underneath all of these tabs, this report can get quite large. So I generally prefer to use the show selection only option. Under definitions, you have structure data, properties, loads, under assignments, you can get very detailed as well, joints and, and frames. But when we look at output, you can see base reactions, uh, centers of rigidity, uh, you can have stories, uh, line, column, and beam forces can all be included in specific reports. Uh, I'm going to include steel frame design, envelope results, summary results, as well as calculations, and you have the ability to select specific groups. So what I've done is I've included these top three beams in group number one. And how did I do that? If I just click cancel here. I've selected the three beams and underneath the assign, assign objects to group. I've defined a group one and I'm going to replace this group and include these three top beams. So now once I select that group, those specific uh, beams will be included in the report. On the next tab for named items, I have the ability to select story response plots, plot functions, name displays, as well as response spectrum curves. So once the analysis has been run, if I go to the display tab, display menu, you can see I have the ability to select story response plots, response spectrum curves, plot functions, as well as I can save name displays. So once I select any of these, that is how uh, they get populated underneath the add user report uh, named items. So you can see here, I can select each one of these to be included in my uh, specific user report. So now I'll just click create. It just takes a minute to populate. Here's my user report number one. And as you can see, all the items I selected are now included. If I just go through a couple of these, I can click on named plots. These are the ones I'd selected to be included. Excuse me, of plot functions. So let's go back and make a couple changes to the report. If I go back and right click on this user report number one, I can click on modify report. And what I'm going to do here is if I go to the design tab, I'm going to click on the summary results as well as the calculations and have um, group number one included in the report itself. Now, if you recall, group number one were these top three beams here on the right hand side of elevation A. So now if I click create, this takes a second here. And if I scroll down to my report, you can see under design data, now these three beams have been included in the report itself. 
When you make changes to the model, the report will automatically be updated. For example, let's go ahead and make changes to these uh, beam sizes here. So if I right click on the beam size, I'll click on overwrites. And instead of making this a W18 by 40, perhaps uh, make it 18 by 60. We'll click OK, OK again. And why don't we make uh, the same change to this specific beam as cell. We'll make this an 1860, click OK, OK again. So now if I go back to the user report and modify the report and click Create, you can see any change that's made to the model will be automatically updated. There we go, now it says 18 by 60. As you can see, the Add New User Report tool in eTabs is quite powerful, giving you complete control as to what you want to have included in any report you generate.